Hi, I noticed on YouTube that there wasn't any um, videos on how to replace an oven igniter for a Bosch oven. There's a lot of videos on how to replace an igniter, but not specific to the Bosch ovens. So we are now in the process of putting everything back together. And I have the igniter and I'm gonna go through it step by step on how to put everything back. Okay, so the first step in the putting back process, I guess would be, you've got this igniter, which basically has these threads. The new igniter that I ordered did not have these um, covers on the, on the cables, I guess. But um, it's the same deal. So shove the, um, once you've taken your oven apart, you're going to see this mess. Um, so to get everything back, you're going to shove these wires, and I'll show you where they hook up in the back, but shove them through the hole. And then what we're going to do is we're going to screw the igniter back into two screws right here. These were the two... Um, there's a two of these, two of these sets. I'm gonna put these, put screw the igniters back in these two holes right here, and then I'm gonna to go to the back of the oven and connect these in the back. Pull back tin of the oven, of the Bosch oven, has to be taken off. It's a lot of screws. Um, a lot of torque screws, but, and then you end up with a whole back oven exposed. Um, so I, when I shoved this, this is what the end of the new part, igniter part looks like. It connects right into here. Let me see if I can do this while I'm holding the, it connects right into here. Um, and you'll remember what that connection is when you unconnect your bad igniter. Okay, so this, is all, this is the sole reason why you've taken off your entire back of the oven. Um, and now you can begin the process of screwing all the screws back in to the back of your oven. Being aware too that there is, um, there's a part here where um, it has to fit into this slot. Same on this side, it fits into that slot. There's this bit before I forget. This bit got taken off and has to go back on right here. I only took this off because it made it easier to access the cable. If you can get your cable out without having to undo one more screw, bully for you. Actually, I thought I'd show you real quick um, how that one piece fits on like that. And then I just had the cable popping out of that little hole right there. Okay, I got the back of the oven fitted in there. The, the hoo-hahs, the tabs went into the slots, but first I figured out that it was easier to drop the tin into this first. You'll notice when you take it out that that's how it's set up. Then, force the tabs in rather than starting with this and then trying to shove <laughs> this up and over this lip. Okay, back of the oven's on, screwed in. I counted 13 screws plus the one that was underneath for 14 screws, yay. Now, I would recommend um, <laughs> using, getting a torque screwdriver. Um, I think these screws are a, a 20, a torque 20. Okay, now I'm gonna put the bottom plate back on and when I took it out, I left the screws, I left the screws in there just so I wouldn't lose them. Okay, it took a little maneuvering to try and find the holes again where these screws fit. A little bit of eyeballing a lot of light and some swearing I'll be honest with you 
that fit sort of sits on top there. And I guess you'll figure it out once you find the, the holes for the screws. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's starting to look like an oven again. All right, let's get the let's get the uh, door on and the racks back in there, and we'll crank it up. Okay, there we go. So the door is resting in there, and when you, in order to take it off, you had to drop these pins. So now I'm going to close the pins. One. Here's the second pin. I'm going to close it and. Voila, operative oven door. Hop back there, turn on the gas, turn on the breakers, and make sure everything's still working. I do see the glow down in there. I don't know if you, oh, yeah, you guys can see it. Um, so, you know, the oven is heating up. I hear the gas. <sighs> All right, so if you um, you know, if you have the time and you don't feel like calling a repairman and you don't mind spending just money on the part and spending some time to do it, um, I think that part cost me about forty dollars on Amazon. Um, Bosch actually sells the part for closer to a hundred dollars, but so this is sort of um uh, a non. I guess it's a non-Bosch, but it is the same part number. Um, so I'm trying that. Uh, I read reviews on this part that said it worked for other people without a hitch. Um, and everything seemed to fit. The parts fit and it looked exactly the same as mine except for the, um, the insulated, uh, the additional insulated cover. Um, Yay, and the oven looks like it is preheating now. So, I fixed the oven. Hooray for me. <laughs> now I gotta fix the dryer. Okay, bye.